What's up guys, my name is Liam and today we're going to be doing a video going over all my favorite top gear that is currently sitting on my desk, stuff that I use every single day. I keep getting a lot of questions of people asking me what my favorite mouse is, what my favorite mouse pad is, so let's go ahead and jump into everything and check it all out. All right guys, so to get things kicked off and started here, I'm gonna be breaking down a bunch of different categories as far as different types of grip styles, types of games I play and stuff like that. But when it comes down to the three top mice that are always sitting on my desk and I'm always using, I mostly am a claw grip user and I like to play first person shooters. That's what I spend most of my time doing. And as you can see here, these three mice are clearly my most used and my top mice. So let's break them down here. So starting out when it comes to my favorite shape, my favorite side buttons, my favorite click filling, that's absolutely gonna go to the Lambzu Atlantis. Now I equally enjoy the Atlantis OG just as much as I enjoy the Atlantis Mini. And personally, I tend to lean towards the Atlantis Mini in FPS games, and that's purely just because of the fact that I perform better with smaller mice when it comes to first person shooting games. So to help you guys out, if you're trying to decide on whether or not you should get the bigger size, the OG or the Mini, I actually did post a video about that in the past kind of going over the differences, trying to help explain them to you guys and help you ultimately decide which size is gonna be better for you. So I'll go ahead and I'll put a link to that video down in the description below. However, when it comes to the Atlantis OG and the Atlantis Mini, these are by far my most used mice. I use the Atlantis Mini for just about everything. I use one for my laptop. I use it for browsing the web. I use it for editing my videos. I'm pretty much always using these mice for the majority of the time during my day. And when it comes to my number one choice for gaming mice that is gonna be soon released in the near future, I'm gonna say that my number one pick is absolutely gonna to have to be the Atlantis Mini in 4K. When it comes to me and my play style, I usually grip the mouse from the back like this. And I gotta say for my grip style, using relaxed claw grip, playing first person shooters, this mouse feels incredible in the hands. I love the weight, I love the side buttons, I love the clicks, and I've become so accustomed to using 4K mice, I really feel like the performance of this mouse just works out perfectly for me. Every time I pick up this mouse or switch over this mouse, I'm always just so blown away at how great this mouse feels to me. All right, next up, when it comes to my favorite mouse, as far as tech goes as far as wireless connectivity, optical switches. The Viper Mini Signature Edition truly stands apart from anything else out there on the market. This mouse never leaves my desk. It always sitting there. I game with it every single day. I love the shape. I love the weight. I love the feeling of it. It does have some minor drawbacks to it and it is hard for me to recommend everybody. But I can tell you guys, since I do use this mouse so much, I use it every single day that it absolutely, I can justify the cost for myself personally. And though this mouse is not perfect for me, you know, I've been breaking it in a lot. I did warn the scroll wheel quite a bit. However, I'm still having issues with it. Every time I switch to a mouse with the rubberized scroll wheel on it, I just always is like a, a breath of fresh air. It always feels so much better. So I still can't get over the scroll wheel. And also the buttons have started loosening up on it a lot and they do kind of rock back and forth quite a bit. You know, I could truly tell you guys, I'm just not really that big of a fan of magnesium. It's been kind of unreliable, hasn't been very consistent. And even though I can truly say that as much as I use this mouse, it's definitely one of my top mice. I am really excited for them to come out with a plastic version of this mouse with a rubberized scroll wheel. And to take things a step further, when it comes to Razer, there honestly is no compromise when it comes to the optical switches, the wireless connectivity. These mice absolutely make the top cut. The reason that they're not in my rotation as often is just because they're a little bit bigger for me. And like I told you guys, I just perform better with smaller mice. So if I was primarily a palm grip player or I did prefer bigger mice, the Death Adder V3 Pro would probably be one of my top picks, if not number one. But I do want to say that if you guys prefer any of these shapes, you honestly can't go wrong with choosing any of these mice. All right. And next up, we have my number one gaming mouse right now currently on the market, and that is the G-Wolves HTX. I've had this mouse for quite some time. When it comes to weight, balance, performance, reliability. I honestly couldn't stress enough to you guys how much I truly love this mouse. If you've been waiting on this mouse or sleeping on this mouse, I highly suggest that you just go pick it up. The weight truly does stand apart from anything else out there. And when you're playing on hard pads or speed pads with this mouse, it just always takes me by surprise how much more confident I am in my micro adjustments, my flicks, my corrections, 
It just feels so spot on with this mouse. And when it comes to G Wolves, the reason that G Wolves is one of my favorite companies is because they're willing to take risks and do things that nobody else out there is doing. And that brings me over to my favorite fingertip grip mouse, which is gonna be the HSK Pro in 4K. For me personally, liking smaller mice just because I perform so much better with them, I can't tell you how excited I got when I found out not only that they were releasing this mouse, but they were also releasing it in the 4K version as well. Now I do wanna give you guys a quick disclaimer about the HSK Pro 4K. This mouse is very different and it can take some adjustments to get used to it. It is kind of hard for me to recommend this mouse to you because this is such a niche mouse. I just want you to know if you're going to pick up this mouse that you have to know what you're getting yourself into. HSK Pro 4K is gonna bring you experience unlike anything you've ever seen before. If you're coming from a mouse, like whether it's a Viper Mini, even if it is a smaller type mouse, it is gonna take a lot of getting used to and some adjustment to be able to use this mouse. However, if you do have a lot of experience with fingertip, you only fingertip grip a mouse, you have used something kind of similar to this in the past, then I'd absolutely put the HSK Pro 4K as my top recommendation for a fingertip grip mouse. All right, and then next up, when it comes to my favorite mouse modification out there on the market, that's gonna go to none other than Crafted Mice. I'm a huge fan of the Final Mouse Starlight 12, the small and the medium, the shape and size of them and the weight is just phenomenal to me. But the fact that you can actually put 4K Razer Viper internals in here just kind of elevated this mouse to the next level for me. And the fact that I have a lot of experience modding mice, if you guys have the same capability or are even looking to pick one of these up and have somebody do the work for you, I would absolutely give this modification two thumbs up. You have the opportunity to customize this mouse exactly how you like it while it maintains having the best tech that's out there on the market. And I want to say that overall my copy, it just feels phenomenal to me. All right, and then next up, let's talk about some of my favorite pads that are out there right now. When it comes to glass gaming mouse pads, I've found so far out of all of these that my favorite has been the Super Glide by Pulsar. I do want to let you guys know that for me personally, I don't prefer to use glass mouse pads when it comes to first person shooting games. But I do want to say that when it comes to browsing my desktop, editing videos, just doing average work on my desktop, playing games like StarCraft, Diablo, stuff like that. This is the first pad of my choice. This is the one that I tend to lean towards the most. I've been just incredibly impressed by the overall build quality and the performance of this pad. And I just always find myself struggling to get away from this pad. Now I've actually done a review on this mouse pad and the Razer Atlas. And I did tend to lean towards the Razer Atlas when it comes to playing first person shooters on a glass mouse pad. But again, when it comes to the overall usability and comfort, this is definitely gonna come down as my number one. All right, so next up, when it comes to my absolute favorite hard pad for first person shooting games, that's going to be no other than the TJ Exclusives Sarah Pad. I truly can't tell you guys how much I love this pad. The performance of this pad honestly comes second to nothing. If you're looking for a great performance speed pad with control, there's honestly nothing that I felt this come close to this. For my gaming style, the way that I play, that this thing just honestly performs flawlessly. And this has been one of the most unique hard pads that I've ever tried. I'm gonna be dropping a full review on this pad in the near future, and I'm super excited to check out their new Sarah Pad Kin. I truly love how TJ Exclusives is so passionate about their products and what they do. They're trying to do something different and unique and it shows in the value of their products. The one thing I'd like to mention to you guys about using this is you are gonna have to use a sleeve when you're using this mouse pad. Even though this is hands down my favorite surface to play on for first person shooters when it comes to hard pads, it does get very sticky on your forearm. So just something to keep in mind, but I absolutely recommend that you guys go out there and you check this out. All right, next up when it comes to my overall, my favorite gaming mouse pad, my soft pad, that's gonna hands down go to the Lamzu Energon. My favorite thing about this mouse pad is that number one, it's really soft so you can push into it and it gives you a whole lot of stopping power. The top of this mouse pad is very smooth. It doesn't bother your arm or hinder your skin in any type of way. It gives you almost zero initial friction so it's really easy to make those micro adjustments and to do tracking with this mouse pad. I feel like the glide and speed of this mouse pad is very fast but at the same time, it never feels like you lose control with the glide on this pad. And then finally, with the way that I play, the stopping power on this mouse pad is on Honestly, it's just perfect. For me personally, when it comes to my play style, just everything from the initial friction to the glide, to the control, to the stopping power, this thing I just feel like is all around the best balance pad out there on the market. And then finally, if I had to name a close runner up for soft pads out there, I'm gonna have to give that to the Artisan FX Raiden in the X-Soft. This is a very close performing and similar feeling pad to the Lamzu Energon. And this does give you all the similar characteristics to the Lamzu Energon. I just feel like this pad is just a little bit faster. I love using this pad. And if you're looking for something just a little bit faster than the Lamzu Energon, then this is gonna be my choice for you. All right, and then to finish things off here, some of my top recommendations, some of the runners up. When it comes to the Ninjutsu Sora, this has by far been one of my favorite overall gaming mice. When it comes to the overall shape, 
the weight of this mouse, this is truly some next level stuff. And to be completely honest with you guys, the only reason that this doesn't sit in my daily rotation, there's only one reason, that's just because of the fact that it's 1K. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I've gotten really addicted to using the 4K polling rate. I'm just so used to it by now. If Ninjutsu were to come out with this exact same mouse, but it were to have the 4K polling rate, then this mouse would absolutely sit at the top tier of my lists. And in fact, for what it is, it does sit at the top tier of my list. So if you're somebody that doesn't really mind or like using the 4K polling rate, you're finally just sticking with the 1K, then I would absolutely put the Ninjutsu Sore as one of my top recommendations. And then finally, the other honorable mentions are gonna be the Pulsar X2 and the Pulsar X2 Mini. I love the optical switches that they put in the Bruce Lee edition. I love the coating of it. I love the shape. I love the filling. And again, just as I'd mentioned with the Sora, if they had both of these versions in 4K, which is coming out later this year, then there's absolutely no question that these mice would be in my daily rotation that I'd probably use all the time. And though I still use all three of these mice for editing videos, playing StarCraft and stuff like that, I'm really excited to see what the future holds for these. If I can get these in a 4K version, then they're honestly probably going to be really hard for me to put down. And if you guys have been eyeing any one of these gaming mice, I can give them all two thumbs up. And I can say they'd sit at the top of my list for a recommendation. All right, guys. So there you have it. My top recommendations when it comes to the future releases, anything honestly coming out from Lamzu, whether it's going to be the new Maya, the Atlantis Mini in 4K, the Atlantis OG in 4K. These are my number one go-to when it comes to new releases that I'm so excited for and I'm waiting to pick up. I know I could have potentially left a lot of things out. Maybe in the future, I'll do one specific on mouse pads. I feel like I can talk about mouse pads forever. I can go over different types of control pads, speed pads, pads that are in the middle. So if that's something you're interested in, please let me know down in the comments below or if you have any additional questions. And aside from that, if you're interested in seeing more videos like this in the future, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.